That, that game there, yeah, I don't care how we win it, as long as we win it. But to win it like that and give them a good hiding, it is poetry in motion. <laughs> We're here in London for one of the biggest fixtures in the English Premier League calendar, the North London Derby between Arsenal and Tottenham. Arsenal have only won three last ten encounters with Tottenham, but they're high flying at the moment, top of the league, and they're going to be well up for this. Arsenal are top of the league going into this one, just one point ahead of Spurs in third, and whoever wins will finish this afternoon top of the league. Arsenal originally known as Doyle Square were founded back in 1886 by factory workers from the munitions factory, hence the nickname the Gunners. They went on to later name it Arsenal after their place of work. It's everything, it's, right? It's, it's everything. The biggest it's game, the whole of the, the, the city just comes together for this game. You wake up just like buzzing for it the whole life. Arsenal moved from Highbury in 2006 to the 60,000 capacity Emirates Stadium behind me here, and Highbury now serves as an apartment block. But funnily enough, Arsenal didn't always play in North London. They originally played south of the Thames, moved to North London in 1913, where they've played ever since. This game means more than any other the, other the, other the last few years. It means everything. Is this a statement of his win today that he's yeah. put actually yes. challenged for the league? Yeah, on it. Like, people, people have been putting us down, but I think, I think we're underrated. I think we've got something. Yeah? I think, I think we're going to do really well this season. Do you think he's won the league? Oh, I mean, I wouldn't put that far, but you never know. We've got a chance. We've got it. Today we'll prove we've got we're a really not, good chance. Look, look, I, I think in the last two years we've become so much better that next season, the season after, we've we got a good future. We'll be tired of them. And is it a statement that you think it's going to go on to challenge for the league? I think the league's going too far still if we win today, but it certainly puts us up there in our round, challenging for the league, certainly. Arsenal have had some world class players over the years, including this man, Dennis Bergkamp. They've also had the likes of Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira, Robert Perez and Tony Adams. No name more significant than Saul Campbell who made the direct switch from Tottenham to Arsenal back in 2001 after serving nine years at Tottenham including the spell as club captain. It came as a massive shock to both fan bases when this signing happened and 20 years have passed since and he's still the last man to make the direct switch from Tottenham to Arsenal. We lose this game today, don't, don't forget everyone really like need to win this game, we can't live with it. Arsenal have been in the top flight for over a hundred years and they're actually the only club left that has still not been relegated from it. And with 13 leagues and 14 FA Cups, they're regarded as one of the best teams in the country. Is there a respect there for Tottenham behind all the hatred or, or nah, not? Fuck that. No? Fucking hate Spurs. Yeah. Fuck Spurs. <laughs> not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Right. Nothing like that. Behind all the hatred, is there is there any respect for Tottenham there? It is her fault. No? It is her fault. Why not? Why would there be? <laughs> <laughs> What's your prediction for today, lads? 3-1. 2-0. 2-0. 3-1. Saka, uh, Saka, Jesus and Xhaka gets two assists. Jesus scores twice. Oof, and, and how many buckets for Xhaka? <laughs> oh, Xhaka's getting, yeah. He's getting this close to getting sent off. But I reckon, nah, do you know what? He's been sick this season. You never know what could happen. I feel like he could just get mad numbers. He's, gonna, he's really, really played for the badge today, I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, he'll fight. He'll fight more than anyone. Gonna go 3-1 Arsenal today. Last few games of the Emirates against Spurs have done well. Beaten 3 1. Last game out, drew 2 2, game before, 4 2 before with Torreira. I think today would be another 3 1 win against him. Arsenal have a couple of famous fans, including Pierce Morgan, Mick Jagger, and Jay Z, and are best known for their achievements in 2004, doing what no team had ever done, going a whole season unbeaten and claiming the title as the Invincibles. Truly remarkable achievement, and no team has done it in the top flight before or after.
flown all the way from Florida for this game today. Tyler, what does a game like this mean for you? To make that commute, what does this mean? Man, this is everything for me, man. I um, became an Arsenal fan about three years ago. I know some might think that's not a lot of time, but you know, this is the development of me. I've become going from absolutely nothing, the absolute casual that you can call it, to becoming a super fan of the squad uh, and the team. You know, I'm super, super stoked, super buzzing for this game, brother. Like, Aaron, I'm telling you, this is a long time in the making, man. North London Derby, here we are at the Emirates, the 49ers. I mean, you can't get better than this. You cannot, you cannot script this stuff for a movie. This is means everything. Forget money, forget, forget it all. This is about the passion for the club. And the fact is, we need this win more than anything else. This is so important to the squad. And you know what? This is the North London Derby. They screwed us out of the Champions League last last year. And you know what? We still feel it. The players still feel it. Mikel Arteta still feels it. The fans still feel it. So you're going to see the passion today. It's going to be a little bit extra. We need this win. We need to get it back in blood. And that's what's going to happen. And then you'll see us in the Champions League next season, brother. You, you bottled the Champions Sure, we sure here. did. So it sounds like you're in for blood today. Yeah, you know, we bottled it for sure. The team is now, we're going to be in the Europa League this season. So hopefully we can do well in the competition. Would have liked to be in the Champions League. Would have been a lot more ideal. We bottled the game against Tottenham. This is the start of the revenge tour for the Arsenal Gunners. And the fact is, we're going to go out there, we're going to take care of business, we're going to whoop their ass, and we're going to win this game. And you know what? We're going to stay top of the league because this isn't the Invincibles, but this is the start of the new era for Arsenal. And the fact is, we are taking over the Premier League. Manchester City, thank you for Gabriel Jesus. Thank you for Alexander Zinchenko. Take a step to the side. We're taking over. We're going to stay at the top of the league. I'm one all here at the Emirates and one thing I'll say about Arsenal is they're the most diverse club that I've visited so far. I've seen flags for Armenian gunners, 
Iranian gunners, Slovenian gunners, gay gunners, Sligo gunners, uh, Bay Area gunners. They've got fans in every corner of, of the planet. But uh, yeah, one all half time. My prediction's gonna be two all still. I'm sticking with two all. But uh, yeah, cracking game so far. They've gone it again at Arsenal, they've won the derby! I won it again, I always win it at home, it's a difficult, difficult place away from home, but we're a different kettle of fish at home. Lee Judges, winning the derby, top of the table, can Arsenal win the league this year? I'm not really, because I think Man City are a bit too strong, but Whoa. I think we're giving a real good go, I really don't You're think we're giving a good go. Yeah? Brother, come on, let's have some more confidence Lee, in Lee, the squad! Lee, what does it mean to win a game like that so convincingly? Oh, listen, it means everything. That, that game there, I don't care how we win it, as long as we win it. But to win it like that and give them a good island, it is poetry in motion. <laughs> my final question, Lee. What colour is North London? Red. Red! Always, always red. Full time here at the North London Derby. It's finished 3-1 to Arsenal. So as of today, North London is red for now. Um, full full time match rating. I'm going to give Arsenal seven and a half. I think it's respectable. Um, they're just very small ultra section behind the, the goal at the clock end, but they're making noise, they're respectable. Um, yeah, you could feel that you could feel it was a derby, you could feel you could feel the tension in the air. Um, not not the most electric atmosphere I've ever seen in my life, but you know, very respectable, good day, good match. 
Um, so yeah, seven and a half out of ten, I think is fair. Um, total price two hundred and eighty for flight accommodation and match ticket. Um, was probably the toughest club to get a ticket for so far. Really struggled. Only got one about two hours before the game. Um, but yeah, very very hard. Uh, so yeah, look. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Footy Trips and uh, see us at the next one.